In a previous video, I described a triple five timer pulsing audio oscillator. Just a few components with a flashing LED to produce the pulsing effect. Today, I've teamed it up with a UHF module. That UHF module operates on about 434 MHz. That part of the spectrum, at least in Australia, can be used for low power, license free applications. Though it's also part of the 70 centimetre amateur band with which it shares with amateurs on a non interference basis. That's handy because we can use amateur equipment to receive it. You can hide one of these in a large park and you'll get quite a good range. How good? Well, you'll find out in a moment. The module costs around $13 or $14 from a local Australian shop, JCAR, and its RF output is about 2 milliwatts. And it has this data sheet. Not a lot in there, but it does say that don't use any more than 5.5 volts and apparently it will run down to 2.2 volts. So the battery that I'm using at 3.7 volts is perfect. On the other side is the pinout. You can tell which is which because pin 4, which is the antenna, is a fair distance from the edge of the module board whereas pin 1 which is ground is much closer. Pin 2 is the data that's the audio that comes from the oscillator and pin 3 is the supply line. DC consumption of this is around 15 to 20 milliamps meaning it will run for about a week on a single 18650 battery. Now what about the antenna? Just as a first up, I'd suggest a quarter wavelength of wire. That's about 17 centimetres. This is, if you're using, like I am, a 433 MHz module. It could be made a lot smaller, maybe even put into a pipe instead. That might make it a better disguise. Especially if you paint it grey or brown, dark green, hit it up into a tree. People would hardly find it. Anyway, for now, it's in this box. Robust, rugged, so I'll take it out give it a go and see how far it transmits. About two or three hundred metres away and I'm still getting the fox beacon quite well. You want to position the Fox transmitter so it is audible but not a particularly strong signal at the starting point. We're now about 500 metres away and in a bit of a thicket but still I'm getting it. This would actually be a good spot to hide a Fox transmitter. Back to the tree, recovered the transmitter, and I got a range of over 500 metres. In fact, possibly quite a bit more, as I didn't go all the way to when the signal dropped out. So that's our look at a pulsing UHF beacon. Very simple, very cheap, and an essential for any radio club, wanting to demonstrate amateur radio activities or hold events like fox hunts. Not only that, but its signal can be picked up on a basic handheld transceiver that almost every amateur would have. Let me know your fox hunting experiences in the comments below. And if you do build this project, 
how you went with it and the range you got. <laughs>